Hi guys, so it's Trinity here, and today I'm going to be making some duct tape mat. So I hope you enjoy this video and stay tuned. So the things we will need are some rolls of duct tape, and then you're going to need something to cut your duct tape with. I'm using an exacto knife. You can use scissors or whatever you want. And then you're going to need something to a ruler or something or a tape measure or anything like that you can measure. Then you're going to need some kind of magnet. I have some pre cut ones. You can use the little ones or whatever. You can use whatever you want basically. So let's get right into this. And you can use stickers, pictures, or washi tape to decorate. So the first thing you want to do is just get your you're gonna need a solid color and a pattern color, or you can just use the solid, but so what you're gonna want to do is take um however big you want your magnet, I'm gonna make mine three inches. So make sure you're measuring at your three inch mark. And what you're going to want is two three inch strips. Do not connect them. It will be e I have swatches on my hand from my last video. I'm going to film my two videos one day. So what you're going to want is four it's two strips for each one. So you're going to want four three inch strips. So you're going to want four three inch strips. So I'm just going to count mine along. One, two, three. Make sure your strips are not connected with each other. I'm sorry my arm's like cutting your view. But so I now have my four strips of duct tape. So what you're gonna do is pull a corner of one piece of your three inch duct tape. And what you're gonna do is just it and you can make it connect it to where however long you want it. I'm making mine about let me see, let me see three by three by two and a half. You can do any way you want. So now you're gonna when you have your two in the sheet form you want you're connecting them and then you're going to get one of your other strips and just lay it right on top of your first sheet you made to make it where there's no sticking So now we have a lot of excess, so what you're going to do is get your X-Acto knife and cut along all your edges. So what you're going to want to do is just make it all perfect. Make sure you're cutting every side toward you. On edges. Every single one. Make sure you make your scrap pile. So now I have my whole square of duct tape. 
So now what you're going to want to do is, I'm just going to measure out. So it's two and a half by 2.2 inches. So 2.5 and then 2.3. Um, for your square. You can do any size you want. This is the size I'm doing. So now you're going to want to get your solid color. And you can cut this in any shape you want. But for me, I'm going to be making it the shape of this cupcake holder. Or maybe a little bit smaller. The shape as this anyway. All the edges. So I'm just going to put it on all of it. Well, it's not messy. I like that. You can rip it or whatever you want. So, after we do that, we're just going to fold all of our excess and then cut our excess. Perfect little circle. So I'm basically just cutting my excess right now. Into a circle shape. Okay. So you basically have your square. So what I'm going to do now is basically do make sure you have this in a perfect circle you can do any shape you want but circle would be the best map All the edges. So what I'm doing is cutting it into a slightly smaller square. Okay, so there is my square for that. Again, I have my mini cup to hold on the back. And so I made my square about this big. You can get a little bit bigger. So basically what we're going to do is since this is paper, we're going just going to get some glue from a regular glue stick. You can use hot glue or whatever you want. Stick with my glue stick. Okay, so there is my magnet sheet, my duct tape sheet. Now I'm going to be decorating it, maybe with a sticker, or I can do a chalkboard label, or whatever I want, basically. So 
I think I'm going to do a sticker, which I have many stickers I could do. I don't know which one I to do. So I'm just going to make a mini mini Oh, this one looks cute. A little bit edgy. So there is my cute owl page thing. So after I do that, what I'm going to do is take a magnet from my handy dandy magnet sheet, stick it on the back. Like that. Now I'm just going to turn you over to where this is magnetic and put it on. So that is as simple as that. You can move it around and whatever, and I'm going to do the locker test. Still didn't fall off. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, subscribe if you enjoy crafty videos. So I hope you enjoy this. So yeah, try if you make this, you can definitely write in the comments below your YouTube channel if you film it or your Instagram, and I'll check it out in the comments down below. So bye. See you later. Seven o'clock.